the channel. If you've not seen before, my name is Vicky. And what we're going to be doing, as you've probably seen in the title just below, is we're going to be talking about what you call different groups of animals. So I used to be a zookeeper. So the names that we're going to come up with today, um, there are a couple of them that do have a couple of different names you can call a group of the same animal. So what I've done is I've chosen the ones that I tend to use. So I thought um, if you have heard a slightly different version, it's probably because it's got a couple of different uh, words that you can call a group of the same animal. So if you like this video, give it a nice big thumbs up and give some love over to the subscribe button as well. That would really, really help as well to grow this channel. I mean, it's incredible how far we have come already. We're already at just over uh, just over 100 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing considering we only started last year in the lockdown. So hopefully when we get up to the year mark, fingers crossed, we'll be a lot bigger. And let me know which bits you really, really love and then we can make some more content of that type. So I hope you enjoy. So with these different groups of animals, what I've done is I've kind of separated them into little groups. And what I'll do as well is I will leave um, the list of all the animals at the end of this video. So if you haven't got it all as you've gone through, what I'll do is I'll leave you a couple of slides at the end with all of the different names and what you call them. So I hope that helps. So we're going to start off with some carnivores. So I've got my little carnivore here, my little lion. So a group of lions actually called a pride. So what I'll do is I might give you a couple of facts as we go as well. So with lions, it tends to be the females who tend to go off and do the hunting. And did you know as well that lions tend to sleep for about 20 hours a day? Now we move on to tigers. A group of tigers is called an ambush. So there's different species of tigers as well. If you haven't, if you don't know um, a lot about tigers, I have done a video on it already. So check the uh, box at the top and that will take you over to the tiger, um, tiger video. A group of jaguars is called a shadow and a group of leopards is called a leap. So quite different there. So let's move on to some of the other mammals now. So a couple of the bigger mammals we have is the giraffes. So I've got my little giraffe here. Um, so a group of giraffes is called a tower. And then I want to show you this one, this guy as well. So this is a picture I got done. So I took a photograph of one of the giraffes I used to look after. So, but this is Zulu. As you can see, he's sitting down there. So giraffes can sit down, but they only ever do that if they feel completely happy in their environment. So you don't see it too often. Um, but yeah, this chap is, is Zulu. You'll see him on um, a lot of my logos um, using his face there. Um, so yeah, I want to show you him. So let's move on to some other animals and some kangaroos. Now, a group of kangaroos are called a troop or a mob. So they can move pretty, pretty fast. And they have pouches. So their youngsters actually sit in their pouch and grow up in there. And then you'll see them jump out as little joeys and go around a little bit and then they'll come back into the pouch again. We've got camels. A group of camels is called a caravan. <laughs> What else have we got? We have wolves. Oh, I should have put them before. Okay, well, so a group of wolves is called a pack. And then one of our bigger mammals we have is the elephants. So a group of elephants is called a parade. Now let's move on to the prosimians and primates. So what is a prosimian? A prosimian is before monkey, so you have lemurs. Now lemurs live in, out in Madagascar and the only main predator of a lemur is the fusa or fossa, depends how you want to say it. Um, so yeah, the group of lemurs is called a conspiracy. So if you want to see lemurs in a film, probably the best one to watch is Madagascar because that's where they tend to live. And then let's move on to the primates. So a group of monkeys is called a barrel or a troop. And then we've got the ape. 
we have a gorilla. So a group of gorillas is called a band or a troop. So troop is used once again. And then let's move on to some birds. So I love this one. I think this one is absolutely great. We have flamingos. Now flamingos are pink and that's because of what they eat. So they're putting that um, the food which they eat into their bodies which gives them the pigment of the pink there and that's how you get a pink flamingo. Um, so they're called a stand or a flamboyance as well. Um, you've got geese. Geese are called a gaggle which I think is quite funny. I think that's a good one. And a group of owls is called a parliament. So I hope that gives you a little bit of an overview of some of the different animals that you tend to see maybe out in zoos um, or some well-known animals that you, you guys know um, and just tell you a little bit more about them. So I have done some other animal videos. So as I mentioned before, I have done a video all about tigers. I've also done another video about giraffes as well. So I'll leave that one up there for you to have a look at. So world giraffe come... So a lot of these animals have a World Animal Day, so particularly for their animal life. So World Giraffe Day is actually on the 21st of June every single year. Um, so when I was at the zoo, we used to do a lot of fundraising um, and be able to send those off to the Giraffe Conservation Foundation, which does a lot of the work out in situ in Africa helping those giraffes. So what I tend to do, even though I've left the zoo now, um, when it comes to World Giraffe Day, I always, always come on and do something a little bit special. So last year I answered, oh gosh, about 120 different questions, all about giraffes. This year what I'm hoping to do is to do a live with you guys, so you guys can ask some questions, and then maybe we can raise some money for the local zoo, because of course zoos at the moment have had a little bit of a hard time, uh, like everybody, but... Um, with zoos, you know, they still do have to feed all of the animals. So I did think that maybe we could do a little fundraiser um, whilst answering some of your questions on a live there. So that's not till June, so just hold fire for that one. If you like the idea, then let me know and put it in the comments. And make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. And I will see you next Wednesday for another video. And I hope you've enjoyed. Give some love over to that subscribe button and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.